Hi, this is Um Art Studios uh, artwork for today. Abstract uh, acrylic on canvas. Hi, check my website for more artworks and photographs at ilmaarts.com. That's I L M A A R T S dot com. Tonight, I'm going to share with you my poem devotional, um, extracted from John 15, verse 8. It says, When you produce much fruit, you are my disciples. This brings great glory to my Father. And here's my poem. Disciples produce much fruit. What fruits of the Spirit have you been bearing? Is it love, joy, peace, or kindness the Lord has given? Are you still struggling with self-control or gentleness? Are you responding devotedly to God's faithfulness? When you produce much fruit, you are His disciples. You have authority over sin and the tactics of the devil. These fruits bring great glory to the Heavenly Father. Bless those around you, especially your sisters and brothers. And here's my essay. The term disciple uh, means a pupil or uh, an apprentice or a student. How can you distinguish a mere follower from a disciple? According to the Bible, a true disciple of Jesus produces much fruit. In Galatians, we are told about the fruits of the Holy Spirit, which is love, joy, patience, peace, uh, kindness, gut, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Anyone can follow Jesus, but not all are disciples. The Bible gives us a gauge or measure of the true believer of Christ. They exhibit the fruits of the Holy Spirit in their lives. They truly obey and apply what they have heard. They are doers and not just hearers. They honor God and give Him glory by aligning their lives to God's and following his instructions. Prayer. Lord, thank you for all the fruits of the Spirit. Reflection. How can we be a true disciple? Um, I'd like to answer that uh, reflection question. How can we be a true disciple? I think if we have our hearts constantly um, pure, or we are able to um, guard it from being corrupted by this world and what can corrupt our hearts. Uh, it's also said in the Bible that what corrupts our heart is our desires, our human desires. So sometimes when we start complaining, um, we have to check our heart. Maybe there is something uh, there is something that you are desiring so much that is affecting your relationship with the Lord. A true disciple, according to the Bible, says that it produces fruit. You cannot say that a person is a disciple of Christ if they are not joyful, if they are not peaceful, if they are not kind, if they don't have self-control, if they... Um, they're impatient if they're um, faithless or, or rude. So that is the gauge if somebody is a true believer or a true disciple of Christ. Because everybody can be a believer, but not all can be a disciple of Christ. So I hope that um, you'll be able to reflect on your life and find out... Um, if you are having the fruits of the Spirit, which is the mark of a disciple of Christ. Have a blessed night, and I hope that you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. God bless.